stories with fictional characters to illustrate concepts that will enable us to have healthy and satisfying relationships. So in today's episode, we'll be learning about how to better understand each other's needs, and we'll be learning from the story of Mukhtar and Sana. Mukhtar was completely frustrated. He couldn't understand why Sana wasn't totally thrilled. I mean, after all, he had just purchased a beautiful, not to mention expensive, designer bag for her. I mean, don't all women love designer bags? When he finally agreed to sit down and listen, he was surprised to learn that what Sena really wanted from him would have saved him a lot of money. Since they were both busy professionals with a growing family, she really missed spending time with her husband. She was ecstatic when he finally understood that what she really wanted was quality time with him and that was more important than receiving any expensive gift. After their talk, he suggested that they carve out some couple time on a regular basis. Mukhtar had assumed that since he felt loved by receiving gifts, Sana would be the same. But taking the time to identify what each person needs makes them feel loved and respected. So Mukhtar had made a really common mistake. He basically assumed that the way he wanted to feel loved and appreciated was the same way that she wanted to feel loved and appreciated. And many couples make that mistake and they assume that my spouse is just like me. When in actuality, when he sat down and took the time to engage her in this concept of ta'aruf, which Allah talks about in Surah Al-Hajrat, just getting to know each other, and he asked her, he learned that her way of feeling loved and appreciated was different from his. And so while some gifts could be really nice um, for her and for anybody, what makes her really feel loved is when he dedicates time and gives her undiv undivided attention especially because they're so busy. And so um, this sort of illustrates the concept of um, a metaphor that we see in the Quran of spouses being garments for one another. And in this metaphor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws for us saying that your spouses are garments for you and you are garments for them, uh, what, he's, what he's suggesting is that we have to take care of these garments in the way that we would take care of our, our literal clothing but also, um, what are some ways that a spouse could be a garment for each other? How could you be a garment for your spouse? What do garments do for us? They protect us, they keep us warm, and they make us look beautiful, right? And so it's both what our garments can do for us and then how we can take care of our garment. And so when we buy clothing, those garments come with a care label. Right? So if you really value a particular article of clothing, what are you going to do before you stick it in the washing machine? You're going to read it, right? Is this a hot water wash or a cold water or don't wash it at all, dry clean only, right? And the same thing, except that our spouses don't come with ready-made care labels. And so um, we actually have to make the time to sit down and ask them, how would they like to be taken care of? And so do you feel loved? by spending quality time or do you feel loved with lots of words of praise and actually um, expressing I love you and what a wonderful person you are or are you a person that feels loved if I help you with uh, doing your chores or um, you know make you a meal or bring you a cup of coffee um, so everybody has different ways that they feel loved and appreciated and if we just take the time to learn that about our spouses then we set a really good foundation that will allow us to have mutually um, satisfying and healthy relationships. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief, working together for a better world and by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S.